Anticoagulants or blood thinners are medications that make your blood clot more slowly to prevent dangerous problems such as a stroke. You may know this medication as warfarin or by its brand names of Coumadin and Jantobin. Your doctor can tell how well your medication is working from a blood test that shows how quickly your blood clots. There are some foods, including those rich in vitamin K, alcohol, some dietary and herbal supplements, as well as some medicines that can affect the way an anticoagulant works in your body. To help the medicine work well, it's important to keep your vitamin K intake as consistent as possible. A large increase in vitamin K can cause your blood to clot too quickly. On the other hand, a large decrease in vitamin K can cause your blood to clot too slowly. You do not need to avoid or follow a diet low in vitamin K while taking this medicine. In fact, you need foods that have vitamin K in them. The main idea is to keep the amount of vitamin K that you take in consistent so your blood levels do not fluctuate much. To keep your blood clotting stable and within your recommended range, take your medicine exactly as your doctor directs, get your blood clotting tests regularly as your doctor orders, which is usually at least once a month, if not more. Finally, keep the amount of foods that you eat that are high in vitamin K consistent week to week. For example, you may plan to eat half a cup of foods rich in vitamin K per day. If you like to eat these foods and eat them often, you can eat them, but be consistent. Do not make any major changes in your intake of foods rich in vitamin K. For example, if you eat a spinach salad every day, do not stop eating it entirely. Discuss vitamin supplements with your doctor. Do not take more than one supplement that contains vitamin K. A single multivitamin that contains not more than 100% of your daily intake for vitamin K is a good idea since this helps keep the levels of vitamin K in your blood consistent. Let's take a look at some foods that are very high in vitamin K. The list includes many dark leafy greens like kale, spinach, and many types of greens. These foods are very healthy for our bodies and a good source of many nutrients. If you greatly increase or decrease foods rich in vitamin K in your diet, let your doctor know right away. If it's difficult to manage your blood clotting levels, meet with a dietitian to review the vitamin K content of your diet. Now, let's take a look at a few other foods that can affect your blood clotting. The first is cranberries. Cranberries are generally fine in moderate amounts. If you drink cranberry juice, limit it to no more than eight ounces a day. Avoid large amounts of whole cranberries, cranberry juice, and cranberry supplements while taking a blood thinning medication. Next, grapefruit should be avoided. Do not eat grapefruit or drink grapefruit juice while taking this medicine. Next, alcohol should also be avoided. Talk to your doctor if you have questions about drinking alcohol. Now, let's talk about some herbal supplements. Many herbal supplements may cause problems and affect how your body uses blood thinning medications. The ones on the screens should be avoided. For example, Echinacea is often used for immune support. Ginger and turmeric are both used for their anti-inflammatory properties, especially for arthritis. And ginger and turmeric can both be used in their whole form to cook with, but should generally not be taken in supplement form. Coenzyme Q10 is often used when people are on a statin or cholesterol-lowering medication. Patients should talk with their doctors about taking these supplements. Use of herbs in cooking, such as garlic and ginger, are safe to eat while you are on blood thinners. However, some vitamin and mineral supplements in large doses can affect your body's response to your medication. For example, you shouldn't take any more than 800 milligrams of vitamin E per day. It's safe to take an adult multivitamin each day that contains vitamin K, but do not take other supplements that also contain vitamin K such as a calcium supplement. Always talk to your doctor before starting, taking, or changing any herbal supplements, herbal teas, or dietary supplements.
Liquid nutritional supplements like Ensure, Boost, and Glucerna have a low amount of vitamin K added to each eight ounce bottle. However, if you drink several of these bottles each day, your vitamin K level may increase and require your medication dose to be changed. Tell your doctor if you are drinking these and how many per day. Finally, some medicines can affect how blood thinners work. Ask your doctor or pharmacist before you start or stop any medication. For more information, check out our patient education handout on this topic.